What's going on Aquarius? Welcome back and for those of you that are new, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are going to get right into your reading. It is going to be a timeless love reading. Whenever you feel drawn to the title, to the picture, and you feel like it's resonating with your current situation, that's when it's meant for you to hear. We're going to pull cards of a time frame for this breakthrough or what's meant to come towards you. We're going to see who is showing up on your path. Remember, it's not a one-to-one -one reading. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to make it as personal as possible. So stick around to the very end. I do offer personal readings. Link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. There is a cyber sale going on for the holidays. So multiple readings of mine are currently discounted. But I am running out of availability with this sale going on. So go ahead and check that out after you know whenever you're interested. Um, I am giving away two free personal readings. So for those of you that are new to my channel, for the month of November 2024, I am giving away two free personal readings. Each month it's something different. But by subscribing, you can take part in the monthly giveaways. New and returning subscribers, leave the word grateful down below in this comment section and any reading you view of mine until the end of the month. At the end of the month, each and every month, I will always remind you to check your notifications. Little bell, top right hand corner of everyone's YouTube homepage. Two people will be hearing from me. Now guys, for the month of December, closing out 2024, let me know what you want in terms of a giveaway. One person can receive a monetary gift card or multiple love readings. Drop that down below what you would like. All right, Aquarius, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Worth waiting for. And true love. There is a breakthrough of true love. The romance that you've dreamt of. The type of partner that you've always envisioned yourself being with. This is the romance of a lifetime. Aquarius, what's going on? What else do we have for my Aquarius? We have the Wheel of Fortune. A fated partner coming towards you. This is karma in your favor. Big happy changes coming your way. Wow. I love this. This is destiny right here. In terms of love for my Aquarius. Those things that you've dealt with Aquarius that just didn't seem right. You know, you always felt like someone's actions did not meet up to what they were saying. Their words, their actions, they were different. Um, People that left you feeling confused in terms of a relationship or what their intentions were. Spirit has been guiding you, protecting you the entire way. Those, those intentions, those, you know, your gut instinct, those feelings that you were having of something is off, something isn't right. They say they care for me, but their actions show differently. Your spirit guides were guiding you the entire way. Obstacles. Are being released in your love life this moment obstacles are being released spirit is saying within this energy to keep going continue to trust in your intuition yes it's time to take inspired action your current situation where you may feel when is it going to happen for me can I trust this person um, where am I moving on to in terms of love? Your time being alone is about to end. It does say the start of the season. So for those of us in fall right now, we're moving into winter. Those of you in the spring, you're moving into the summer. So the start of a season. But there's a brand new beginning here. All right, let's see what else we can get. We're going to do past, present, future energy for Aquarius in terms of love. 
sacred space. This is you taking that time out for yourself, praying, meditating, keeping your energy sacred. That's self-love. You're raising your vibration through that self-love, through you taking back your control, releasing and healing. You're rising above. Your vibration, as it's rising, is attracting what you deserve in terms of love. All right, I'm going to take it. We've got twin flames showing up. All right, we have twin flames, we have self-worth, spring, and outcome. Look at this. This is a positive outcome. This love is blooming. You could be meeting a twin flame for the first time. You could be meeting a soul partner for the first time. For those of you that have a soulmate or have a twin flame in your life, this is um, a positive conclusion, a positive result. Getting the resolution that you desire with this person. All right, let's get deeper. Spirit, Aquarius's energy in terms of love. Ace of coins, you're ready. You want something grounded. You've dealt with changes that, you know, you didn't anticipate happening. Endings that you did not want to occur. But as I stated, you're, you're raising your vibration. You're ready for this solid beginning. We do have earth energy here, so you may have earth in your chart. Actually, we have strong earth energy here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. The energy of the person coming towards Aquarius. King of Cups, someone coming in emotionally ready to be committed. Someone who's worked on their emotional baggage, um, anything that triggered them. If there was any instability in terms of their emotions, they've worked that out. And they're ready for this loving exchange. What is the overall outcome meant to be? For who is coming toward? I love it. A clean slate. Union. Two people facing one another. Open to this connection. The best intentions. He has flowers behind his back. There is a shifting of energy to bring this union towards you. And again, with this divine presence, could be a soulmate, could be a twin flame. It's like you're releasing all karmic connections. You want something deeper. And you're manifesting it. All right. Spirit, please clarify the... Okay. Yeah, as I stated, you're manifesting it. You're thinking about your future. And what who you see yourself standing with. This is coming to fruition. Two of Wands energy. For those of you currently going through something that feels confusing, it may be a timeout for yourself. For those of you coming here for the confirmation that you may need to separate with someone, um, just to focus on yourself, let this be the confirmation. You may have to part ways with someone that just isn't, they're not showing you the best side of themselves. There's nothing you can do to change that. This is strongly about raising your vibration and, and the, the most secure self-love for yourself to bring in someone who's going to be completely all in with you 100%. There is a brand new chapter beginning. All right, Spirit, tell me about the person coming towards Aquarius and the overall outcome. Please clarify. 
the five of swords, the seven of wands. I really feel you have parted ways with people that, or someone that just challenged you, made every day feel like you were making the most effort and they were giving minimal. Here it is. There's the loving offer coming towards you. There's the loving gesture. This feels very romantic, very fantasy, very magical. And again, it has the potential for long term. Can it be someone that you've already dealt with, that you've parted ways with, and they need to find themselves along their journey? Absolutely. But for others, you're releasing all of that negative energy, the conflict, you know, wearing a mask and not being completely honest, the challenges, you're walking away from that. You're walking right into the arms of someone that's been waiting for you. You've been waiting for them and they've been waiting for you. This is beautiful. And it all comes with that self-love and your self-worth. Let's see a timeline. Remember, worth waiting for. This is true love. Time frame for my Aquarians. We have in December. And then, all right, in December, in September. So we're obviously past September, right? December of 2024 throughout September of 2025. Could be Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Could be Virgo, maybe a Libra. Take it how that time frame plays out. But in all honesty, it's going to be in divine timing. As you raise your vibration, as you heal, as you purge and release, you're beginning a brand new inspiring cycle for yourself. And that's when this person enters it. All right, Aquarius, a message from your higher self. Stop pushing against what is. Align with it and move on. Look around. Find some signs the universe is speaking to you. All right, let's see what signs we do have. We have 777 here. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven. Actually, we have four sevens. So look up the spiritual meaning of seven, 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 seven. You will start seeing that now and how it fits into your love life. There's multiple meanings. We have five, five here. So that is change coming. Even though there's multiple meanings that... Five is the number of change. Seven is the number of magic. Look for those signs and synchronicities. Could be a rainbow. Could be insects. Could be birds. Could be feathers. Could be even coins. Looking down and seeing a penny or some coin in front of you. Your spirit guides are bringing those answers to what you're thinking about. Bringing you that guidance. T- O, F, L, N, let me get just a couple more, K, blank scrabble tile, and another O. All right, Aquarius, let me, um, let me know how it resonates. Keep the word, set, put the word grateful down below in the comment section for those of you that want to take part in my personal giveaways. Like I said, anytime you want me to tune into Just Your Energy, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. And I'm currently running out of availability for November. So much love and light, guys.